I like upgrading though. I also like removing two cards. Removing is really good. We talked about how removing makes it zap dual cast cycle pretty pretty nutty. Sparkle is uh, the elite that it has. It gets a random buff and it drops a key. And if you don't do Act One, you, have to do, you can do it Act Two. If you don't do Act Two, you have to do Act Three. If you don't do it at all, then you won't get Act Four. Yeah, it's true, Kappa. At the Kuna came a little late. I think a couple of decisions I could have made differently, right? Maybe upgrading Coconut Dagger, maybe doing the boss fight different. Deck have potential though. It's okay. Go for the snipe. I'll go for the snipe. Let's do it. This path is kind of bad though. It's alright though. Yo, thanks for the 100 bits, Mr. Neat. Appreciate it, dude. I'll just shoot him, beam. Where do you get passers? Nice. Let's do defrag. Uh oh. We may not get the snipe. I may get unlucky. I'm gonna do grip and tear. I think cool with defrag is nice, but. One. Oof. Oh my god. Runic Dodecahedron. Genetic algorithm already upgraded floor six. That's okay. Toxic egg, man. Oh my god. I'm take a moment to step back and embrace toxic egg. I'm gonna get some water. Uh, these look pretty good. I like the dark orb. No, so do like so genetic algorithm. Think of it as this. So genetic genetic algorithm by Act Two is gonna become like twenty plus block for one energy. So if you had a card in your deck that was for one energy, 20 plus block, which, or just full block for a turn for one energy, which opens up Echo Form, opens up other cards you want to play, it's a very good card if you can get it early, especially upgraded. Um, I think Hologram is very good here, but I, I like Rainbow with the Dark Warp is pretty nice against the, uh, the Slime Boss. I just don't like the effect that it doesn't exhaust, right? Like replaying Rainbow multiple times, it's. Mm, I mean, with Defrag, I suppose it's okay because Defrag gives us more value for those orbs, so we're getting value out of all this. It's a pretty good value card, I would say. You treat it like a dash in some backwards way, not even, but. And I think the Dark Orb is pretty good against the Slime Boss in particular. But Hologram Plus is obviously very good. I mean, yeah, Toxic is insane. Do you take Steam Barrier here? I don't know, man. I think it takes Steam Barrier here. I mean, Steamboat does work works kind of well with my deck, considering I have a lot of one cost cards. I would it'd be nice to have uh, zero cost cards to get better defense. But if we're talking about big burst and the slime boss, I like the rainbow. Uh, Hollow plus is always very good, of course. Let me get water one sec. Yeah, rainbow feels worse upgraded. That's the only thing I actually don't like rainbow upgraded. I like the fact that it, you play it. You get some frost, some lightning, some dark. You evoke things on that turn out of your deck, right? <clears throat> it's not a card I typically want to play more than once. It was like Fission before. Like Fission upgrade, uh, Fission would keep cycling the old Fission where you get orb slats. But you don't want that, right? You want to get the effect and be done with it. So, oh, this is the old Rainbow Art, yeah. I think the Dark Orb is still pretty good with the Rainbow. And I think with the Defrag, it might come and give us some value. So, I'm going to go here and do Rainbow. But Hologram is obviously very, very solid as well. I guess we can look for Buffer. That's a pretty bad turn for us. If I do Double Strike, I end up taking... 
take away 11 damage, but I end up taking three more for that guy, and I end up taking less damage. Well, not necessarily. I forgot to do the math if I blocked fully. I didn't do the math there. There is that. All right. Let's do Leap Plus. I mean, when you're offered Leap Plus, it's like, that's kind of, it's really nice. Anthony, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, our block is obviously, so if this, if this was a Hologram Plus, we do Defend, Hologram, Defend, right? So you're already seeing if this is Hologram Plus, how it would have given us some decent block. Um, and if it was Steam Barrier, we've also got a full block. So obviously, block is king. But we decided to go for the rainbow. And we're taking damage as a result and hope that it pays off. So if you notice, genetic algorithm is already 7. It's already better than a defense. It's only getting better from here. I think rainbow will pay off. So we got darkest now to go with the rainbow. We also got stack plus. I think stack overperforms against the slime boss. I like the stack plus, but uh, we could go for the dark orb. I think dark is a very strong thing against the, the slime boss. I think it's going to destroy the slime boss, and then I can always shore up my defense for act two with toxic egg. I think rainbow is very good. I like rainbow on upgrade. I don't like upgraded that much though. I like go for the eyes. I like sorry. I like bag of marbles because I think bag of marbles can often be. Um, a good way to, like with Sunder, if you get Sunder, or there's, there's a lot of things to make Bagamore work well. I think front loader damage is always very important. You approve? I'm glad you approve. Question is, do you think you, you approve me going for the Elite? And do you think that maybe, I think our cards are pretty good for the Elite. I think Gremlin Knob gets destroyed by Darkness. I'm going for it. Man, that would have been nice, how that gold plated. How do we feel about doing recursion with the dark orbs? Is this kind of like a thing that we're doing right now? These are a lot of bad cards in general though, but I like, think these are a lot of bad cards on their own. If you separate them, they don't give me block on their own, but if I can bring the deck together and remove some strikes, I, I think there's potential. What's up, uh, Champagne? I haven't seen you in a long time, buddy. Welcome. I guess we can rest just a worst case scenario kind of thing. Although upgrading the frag is pretty sexy. So is upgrading dual cast and zap. And dual cast zap, or maybe dual cast is probably the better upgrade. And upgrading defrag is obviously very good. So the question is, can we? Yeah, we're gonna upgrade defrag. All right. So this is the one that was like the worst case scenario, but we got buffer. So buffer versus biased. Biased cognition. For focus, we do zap, dual cast, strike, or zap, we do defrag, zap, dual cast. Is that focus going to be sufficient, or should we just do buffer, and then block his first attack and use buffer for the second? A few things we could do. I think we do buffer, we do zap, no, we do, yeah, buffer, zap, strike, defrag. Uh, we block his first attack and then use buffer for the second attack. Ah, it's tough. It's tough, 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 tough. Think bias is better? <clears throat> Alright. That's sick. We do genetic. Recursion. And now he's got to do... Okay, we'll rest once. Oh my god, Anthony. But you wouldn't take two rainbows, right? You're not gonna see double rainbow in our life, right? 
Buffer was better because I could just full block, right? And then. Well, I don't know because Bice did a lot of damage there. It's tough to say. Double Rainbow? It's just a weird deck. I don't think it's good. But it, I'm kind of curious to try it. Battery is the better play. We need more consistent defense. Battery helps us get more energy, and we need more consistent defense. I think I think Anthony wants it. So I, I'll remove. I'll remove a strike, and then I'm going to rest here. I mean, there's a world in which I don't have to rest because of the Dark Orbs. I, I know that it seems crazy. Because the Dark Orbs will be pretty significant Anthony's mega crit so I call him Anthony I guess I can say mega crit but you think I need a rest mm. upgrading dual casts using things like recursion rainbow dual cast with dark orbs and defrag I think we're fine we also have block pot I don't think we need a rest. I've had this debate before where you guys swear I need a rest. I just don't think I need to. The slime boss is one of those guys that you can kind of get away with not resting because of things like dark orbs and, and dual cast. Then you hit me with the overconfidence. And you hit me with that line. Now I'm thinking, okay, well, I should probably rest for the next five runs. It's not about resting being for the week or not. It's just about whether or not resting is necessary. We have a couple turns to set up, right? And dual cast also helps us with recursion. Dual cast helps us with darkness. But if I don't get any block, if I don't get any block, and the block pot's probably not enough. All right, I can see resting being okay. The problem is I want to do darkness, but okay, that's fine. Do we look for recursion? I think we look for election we have recursion and we try to get dual cast with dark and we just like win the game, right? Genetic algorithm, recursion. I think we just sit back. Honestly, honestly, wait, if you think about it, Rainbow's gonna be money here. Rainbow's gonna kill one of them outright. Dual cast is amazing. I wish I could use dual cast in a way where I don't have to spend both on one person. Like I want to do... Let's do this. I like dual cast. Ooh, we... Oh, it's so close. Oh my god. If I had hit him with two more damage... Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. It's okay. We have Rainbow. Right, so Rainbow's gonna be guaranteed killing that guy. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to rest, but it's okay. That's not what I said, though. I don't think I need to rest, guys. I think my deck with Dark Orbs is so strong. How much damage did I take? How much damage did I take that fight? It's eight damage? But I had potions, so I would've been fine. like eight damage there I had pot yeah I had potions that's what I'm saying it's okay though we rested what we lost on what we, we lost on what upgrade did we lose out we lost on a um the dual cash zap upgrade I hope that doesn't bite us in the butt what was the risk of the bad draw but I don't know not really because the deck was we have two rainbows and we have defrag is up our deck is pretty small it's kind of hard to have bad draws when we have double rainbow with darkness right that, that's just gonna do so much damage but there's a risk of bad draw. I mean, I, don't, I just don't think there's a bad draw that can actually get me killed. Anyways, what do we got? Machine Learning, Hyper Beam, multi, multi, Meteor Strike? I, this might be a skip. Might be a skip, but I guess Machine Learning is okay. I just never really... Anthony, you got some data on Machine Learning? How often is this picked? What's the win rate of this card? Is that too hard to pick up? Is, it, is that taking a long time to be free to find that information? I just don't know. Obviously, card draw is nice, but... 
seems like a very underwhelming card most of the time. Well, I don't know if I would skip though, because I think I take the opportunity to play it and then drawing six cards a turn. Well, what's six cards a turn helps me get recursion more often, helps me cycle into darkness more often. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Okay. So there's a few things we got, I got here. It's a lot of a lot of interesting stuff. So Sozu, just four energy, no potions. Okay. Inserter means I get orb slots every other turn, right? And then I, I can start filling it up with rainbow, which is not necessarily the best things you want to fill it up with, but we have ways to fill up the slots. And then we have things like defrag to get some focus for all those orbs. So we have a lot of orbs and a lot of darkness, which probably won't get pushed forward most of the time. Uh, who knows? The next thing is Snekowai, which makes our two cost rainbows cheaper. We draw seven cards a turn and we cycle through our deck. There's a world in which we're cycling through our deck and playing multiple rainbows a turn, right? And just doing rainbow, 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 rainbow. I, I, I don't know how effective that really is. Ah, a lot of choices, man. Uh, Inserter also opens up consume as a possibility and as, as a way to scale infinitely so if we use consume inserter and happen to get that we're very very happy and we have upgrades from toxic egg to give us upgraded cards to make us survive on three energy and we already have recursion as well so is obviously just the four energy consistent whatever i think snake was great here Inserter's bad with rainbow. Yeah, it's bad with rainbow, but we also can find consume and then rainbow can still fill up those slots with something and also push three orbs at a time. Curveball. I think Snake was. I think Snake was. <sighs> Bless RNG. We're getting upgraded holograms always, so that's gonna help out a lot. I wish I had energy paid. Mm. Oh, it's Rainbow Deck. I like Auto Shield. I mean, Auto Shield's, that's pretty good. I mean, it may not be playable all the time, but as a one of, I'm happy about. That's an awkward turn. I didn't play that much that turn. I would like to play Darkness or Machine Learning, but I didn't have the chance to. That's awkward. I'm doing just so I can get darker, Darkness forward, more forward. Auto show genetic is fine here. I would like to do defrag as well. Uh, so maybe I do defrag genetic. I don't want to take damage though. I think def genetic defrag rainbow is not taking any damage. And then uh, we need some frost orbs now to kind of balance out here. More rainbows. Well, they need you darkness first then. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but rainbow and darkness is... It's a lot of damage, especially if you're playing Rainbow for zero.
Do we take turbo? So we have... But turbo is awkward with Snickle because it may not be free. Skip here for me. To skip here for me as well. I only have two strikes in the deck. That, this is 22 block for one energy. I know... Well, well this is just a better play. Never mind. I mean, taking two damage maybe not be the better play. That's awkward. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that I have two strikes, meaning that I have two strikes, so removing... Like, I already moved down to two strikes, so to receive five bites feels even worse. Is what I, what, is what, that's, my point of saying two strikes is that, like, if I had five strikes, I could see some benefit of having five bites instead of five strikes, but having two strikes and then taking five bites feels even worse, what I meant to say. It wouldn't be worth regardless yet. Yeah. Ooh. So I need to I need to find a way to hit the guy in the f there we go. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's it. I don't usually use darkness like that, but I mean we're using darkness like that, so that's happening. It's a thing that's happening right now. And then now Rainbow's lethal. I mean more than lethal. Jesus Christ, Rainbow's lethal. This deck is very interesting. I like Cold Snap, but it feels underwhelming. I want to have some Frost, because I just need some Frost, and it helps me. One more thing that puts orbs that is not Rainbow, right? Something else that is not Rainbow that puts orbs and gives me some Frost. I like it. We have Defrag. I, uh, I also kind of want the Ancient Pot for the Frail or for the Chosen. There might be a world that I wish to do that, Veridex, yeah. I think it's a skip. Yeah, I just think Cold Snap is too inconsistent. And I wonder if the Ancient Pods is better for this Act 2. Who is way better? Also, Glacier's way better. And guys, look at the genetic algorithm. 18 block, no problem. I could have blocked the frail, but I'm gonna be a little bit more. So I want to kill the guy in the back without using rainbow. And what do you know? We did it. We got recursion as well on top of that. And then we got darkness. So I mean, we got rainbow, and then we have lethal. Speaking of cool headed, so cool headed gives us the card draw and the frost. I like it. I wonder if I should recall now. Okay, so how does this deck perform against elites? Well, it's an RNG show, but I think the deck performs very well against elites. Slavers, triple slavers, I think we're totally fine against triple slavers. Um, Gremlin leader, there's a lot of things that take up the rainbows, that take up the dark orb slots. Like, we can, we can, Manage the little minions, no problem. Book of Stabbing. I think the Book of Stabbing, we just hold on. Do love damage with Dark Scaling and Rainbow. I think we, Book of Stabbing, we're fine. I could just skip this Elite and go remove a Strike over here and then do another... There's another Elite up there. That I don't have to do Elite right now. So Birdfish was giving some healing. I like that. Do we have any powers, though? We have Defrag, but Birdfish has a high ceiling because if you end up getting Creative AI... Birdface earning could be infinite healing, right? Which could be something that could be what you need to get through a certain fight. But machine learning as well. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, this would have been really nice. Symbiotic virus. Alright, so Seek Plus I like. So Seek Plus gives us defrag. Well, Seek Plus is awkward actually with Snickle, I just realized Sneak Plus is never going to be, well, not never, but it's often not going to be zero costs. I wonder if we just take stack and remove. 
or we just remove and save. I didn't be bad enough green. Now I ended the stream shortly after. Wow, Mummified Hand with Urn. That is an interesting little thing. That, wow, and I like Mummified Hand a lot with Snekawai. It's very good with Snekawai. Very good with Snekawai. But there's the thing that the, the, the head has a way to deal with uh, creative AI scaling, right? Whoa! What is this turn? Holy mackerel, dude. Wow. Oh my god, this deck is insane. Not one if I want the artifact pot and just take power pot instead. I'm, fl I'm flipping between the two. I'm gonna do power pot now, actually. Buffer machine learning. I mean, I could do buffer and save it, right? Machine learning is kind of nice, actually. Yeah, it's true, Green. It's true. I want to find Defract first. I should probably make it so that it hits Rainbow, right? But this is this. I guess this is fine. Well, let's do Shooting Beam to see if we can draw into Defrag. Because if we draw into Defrag, we can play another card as well on top of it. Uh, it's also stack is pretty mm, pretty good here. Oh, this is awkward. This is awkward. But luckily we don't need attacks to kill because of rainbow, right? We're getting a lot of wounds though. That's the only problem. I could do darkness recursion, right? Darkness recursion kills the guy in the back. It's better than stack. Calipers would be very nice. The darkness is good, but I just can't. Mm. Okay. Panograph is very, very good. I think we skip here. Panograph is very good. I, I like the cold snap. I, think, I wonder if I just take cold snap as a one of. I just need more frost. I think I need more orb generation and more frost generation. I think we take the cold snap. I think we take one cold snap. I know it's not going to be consistently played, but... Uh, we can transform a card. I already clicked it, so I can't really go back. I guess we can transform a defend. I like the strike plus. I, I, I think the ability to do a little bit of damage to make the dark orbs better targets. It's actually pretty important. Whoa. That's a card.
I actually think machine learning innate is amazing because we have mummified hands. I, I want to do, but I think Electrodynamics is just too, you gotta play it. You, you can't not play that card. Oh my god, Rainbow is disgusting in this fight now. It's so gross. So gross. Oh my god, what a this is an insane turn. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm just like pot champion. Let's get this played. Any source of lightning wins. Source of lightning. We're gonna pull that I don't really need, but Whoa. Another darkness. Do we just go full out with the dark orbs? And it's a cold snap plus as well, which is more frost. Can we go full out with the dark? Alright, so what do we upgrade though? Because we don't really have important upgrade. I guess more orb generation, because Cost reduction is not important. And we have runes that take Oh, I took one damage. Fuck, but I, I play power and I heal. I play power and I heal. Power and I heal. Back to full life. Oh my lord. This is going to be a turn, guys. This is going to be a 27 block, by the way. But this is going to be a turn. Just so you guys know. Ah, I can't... I guess we do stack and full heal. Wait, how much is this? Genetic stack is... 38... 30... Sorry, 39. Plus all of this. More darkness. All right. I guess we take damage here. It's okay, but I think the damage is done already. Like, we are about to win, so it doesn't matter. Ho, ho, ho. This deck is spicy. 
This is a premium brew. If we were going to Magic the Gathering and brewing a deck, this is a premium brew right here. Uh, so I think Bias Cognition... I think it's really good. I, uh, and we can also get artifacts and stuff. I think the Bias Cognition takes this deck to another level. The ability to have focus on top of everything that's going on... I think it takes us to another level. So no longer smithing doesn't seem as impactful when I have Toxic Egg. And then in Act 3, you're getting... You're getting, what's it called, um, more upgraded cards as it is. So then I also have Toxic Egg. I think this is okay. So now we have 5 energy a turn if we get the full heal from Run Runic. So that's 5 energy a turn. We start looking for some cards, all the cool-headed skims and stuff. And it could be, could be something. Obviously, not being able to smith sucks sometimes because we, we probably want to upgrade bias cognition. But a lot of the upgrades that we do are cost reduction, and that doesn't help with Sneko, so it's okay. In fact, campfires are probably not that important anyways, but they're still something I'll prioritize a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy with the elites. I think we can handle elites. In fact, I think we can maybe go for two elites. Am I being too ambitious? I might even go for three elites. Is that too ambitious? I think this deck can handle three elites. But if I'm being over ambitious, let me know. Stop me now. My deck just does so much damage so quickly. I mean, this is turn... Okay, we gotta we got play this, right? Just for the scaling. But look at the damage on turn three. I got full heal, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna skip here. Oh, do we do, do we do overclock for card draw? No, I think the burns are just not... We don't want to even entertain that idea. So we're losing Runic to Dekahedron, but okay, we can bring it back. Wow. Wow. Ha ha ha. Poggers. Okay, so here's the, here's the thing. We have five energy with all our... Five energy with all our things. Um, So Hologram is like card draw, in a way. I think Hologram Plus we gotta take, because Sneko White Hologram is insane. Absolutely insane. But Skim is also something to consider, because we have 5 energy once we have Runic activated. So, Skim is 4 card draw, Hollow is also recurring threats, and also might be free. I don't know. Recurring threats also may be free, might pick up things that are free. Everything's card draw. <laughs> You vote for heat sinks. Heat sinks is card draw. I have a lot of sensory powers, but I don't want to go awaken. I don't want to go. So is it awaken one? Awaken one's two out of three. So does it matter if I have heat sinks against awaken one? Is good against everything else? It's also zero cost cards. Exactly, mummified hand. It's also healing. It's also healing. So that's also something to consider. It's also maybe what I need to get back to full life. I think zero cost cards holograms. The reason why you take Sneko a lot. One of the reasons you take Sneko. Um, I think Machine Learning I don't play just yet. I like the recursion. Yo, Thomas Rock. Don't forget to get the Sapphire Key right now. Uh, I, okay, I won't, I won't, man. Thank you for the 500 bits. This guy's staying alive, isn't he? Well, not if I can attack him and do rainbow. Attack and do rainbow. One attack and rainbow. Okay, so this helps me get the attack. And then I do rainbow. And we're fine. Everything's fine. I'll take the hit here. I mean, I don't want to do shooting beam. That's terrible. 
Now, if I had played machine learning, I would have had more card draw options, but I can play it now and get healing. Play genetics so I can just get that out of the way. So we need to play three more powers. Okay. Sub alert didn't go off? Oh my god. No. I got you, man. Thank oh. you. I for an I. TTV. Thanks for the just fine, buddy. Welcome for the jump pool. I think charge battery's too good, man. Charge battery with a snick uh I think charge battery's too good. It's also not 10 block. I gotta take that. Huh. Yo, Jumanja with the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the germ pool. You guys, feel free to join the Discord as well. So, I guess we just cold snap here. Uh, dual cast is just too powerful with dark orbs. I don't want to lose my gold. There is a shop coming up. I'm not going to do that. Now, I, I'm going ultra ambitious. Like I said, I'm going for three elites. Electro Electrodynamics is... Super important for me to find right now. I'm gonna do all that I can to find it. Electrodynamics should take care of this fight with Rainbow. Like I should be totally fine if I get Electro. I think Rainbow is also just okay to kill the guy. I'm doing 25, right? So let's just do Rainbow. <clears throat> Did you do rainbow again, I guess? I guess we do darkness, rainbow. No, we can't do both. So hologram does bring us back <clears throat> nothing. It brings back a strike. And the strike, I guess, is significant. But I think rainbow is probably just better. Well, charge battery gives us energy. Darkness gets the thing scaling. Huh. This makes us take no damage. That also puts darkness in the front, right? So when we get... So we got the Electro, we got the Defrag, okay. So I want to play Defrag. I want to play Biased. I want to get Genetic out. We have shit ton of block. This is going to destroy the fight right now. Boom. Now we have full... Full life. And now we just win. I like doing darkness into rainbow. I think dual cast is interesting, but I, maybe I'd rather do recursion dual cast so I don't take damage. I'm still taking some damage, but that's something I can heal relatively easy. Oh, GG. So that is an easy heal. Singing Ball is pretty good. Okay, so consume. Yo, X Spike with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, man. Welcome to the Dream Pool. Appreciate the support. Thank you, guys. All of you guys. You like Loop here? Loop is pretty good. It is a power. Yeah, Loop is... Pff, what am I even thinking about? What am I thinking about? A YouTube run that says, "Do running through the heat drain actually work?" <laughs> it's funny. Okay, let's do biased darkness. It feels good to like play strikes and not have to worry about art of war. Like art of war, kind of just sometimes in the back of your mind. Like, wait a minute. I'm playing this. And let's bring back darkness. And Rooney's Decahedron is so so nice. Five energy, baby. Wait, let's do genetic. Full block. No worries. So genetic works extremely well to keep me healthy. I mean, genetic is insane at this point. How much is genetic at? Genetic is at 52 block. You're telling me 52 block for one is not good? Whoever said that out there? And then GG. Recursion with Rainbow is lethal. Wow. 
I think Recursion is performing so well. I think Recursion is performing so well. I might take a second one, but I'm not sure because it is still, it's still a zero cost card. But I think it performs so well with Loop, Dark, and all this stuff. And it also gives me block. Like, on average, with Recursion with Defrag out, is better than a defense. I think we take it. Or max HP is the other option, right? I think it's recursion performing so well though, because it works well with the frost, lightning with electrodynamics, and it works extremely well with dark. What's a nice quote? Oh, <laughs> that quote. Yeah, I think the ability to get cards to become zero cost with uh, mummified hands, plus the fact that recursion is on average better than defend when if it hits a frost and the, the flexibility and versatility to be an electrodynamics zap or a just re recursion on a dark orb which is where you probably want it most of the time is that we probably want another recursion get a random rare relic get a rare relic full heal of full upgrade on cards so upgrade on cards is not yeah no So calibers would be very good as well, because we have ways to make block. This could be ice cream. I mean, who knows what we're going to get. So I could... Hmm. Hey, sorry about that, Sarah Kyra. I'll, I'll help you out in a sec. Oh my god, dude. The burst. Yo, Anthony, your rainbow is sick. Don't ever tell you anything bad about Rainbow. Rainbow's amazing. Nothing bad to say about Rainbow here. It's probably the best shot I've ever found for Rainbow. Giria, eh. Sapphire key. I guess I can lift. I don't need a rest. I have a reason to lift. A reason to be at the campfires. It's ah, uh, hey, gear is perfect. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget the key because Thomas Rock gave me the gave me those bits. He reminded me. And that's not me trying to say like, oh, give me the bits, I won't forget things. No, I mean, it would be pretty shitty for me to forget after that. Or maybe it would be smarter of me to re forget. Mm. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's an unconventional way to use this, this Dark Orb damage. I heard you like Dark Orbs, so we gave you a lot of Dark Orbs right there. So that doesn't bite us in the butt. We have genetic algorithm to play on a turn where it might be skip. Dark Herb is just... Just play it. Just do it. Stack is pretty good. I like doing rainbow charge stack. I I'm trying not to take damage, but... Oh, we take no damage. Okay, we're fine. Okay. 
Genetic. Beautiful. Beautiful genetic. I like darkness with dual cast. Okay. Happy flower. More energy. Why not? Another hologram. Why not? You could argue lecture is good, but I think hologram is amazing with Sneko Eye. We skipped the fear pot. We have a reason to be here because we can lift. We have 420 gold, so we're going to go shop. Maybe get something great. Dolly's Mirror. So Dolly's Mirror can bring another rainbow into the deck. Another defrag. I think we do defrag again. I think that's going to be insane. We can even duplicate the genetic algorithm. Genetic algorithm duplicate. Does it keep its stacks? I'm not going to do it, but does it keep its stacks? The scales versus the heart. You think I should do genetic twice? Because, you know, genetic is actually really good against the heart. Because the has turns me does like 67 and then all this other stuff. Should I do genetic? Or do you think defrag is better? Defrag is gives me focus and it gives me a uh, mummified hands. You really? Cause I don't know, genetic is... F that's a lot of block. 58 block for genetic. It's a tough choice. Hard decision because 67 damage on the heart sometimes. I can't do that with rainbow alone. I think the fact that the heart does 67 damage, 57 damage, all these big hits. This it, mm. Focus is forever. Yes, focus is forever. But my deck is operating pretty quick with Dark Orb scaling. It's basically a buffer. It's basically a buffer. Yeah, it's basically a buffer. Do I want a buffer in the deck? So, after all that discussion, uh, go for the eyes? <laughs> huh. I think defrag is better in the long run, just having that focus. I don't hold frost orbs very long, but the, the, the thing is, if I have defrag twice, the frost orbs that I'm evoking do a lot more block. The scales is very important, yes. I think we do buy the scales. Can we buy the scales in this? We can. So we can still do scales and dollies. Scales is pretty good damage. I'm trying to play Caesar. I'm trying to play. It's a, it's a hard decision, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to get I'm trying to take it all the way. Yeah, but I think Dolly's mirror is worth it just for genetic or defrag. This goes not that much of a damage. Well, the heart does times 15 attacks, so that right there is going to be doing 45. You don't think the scales are worth it for 45 damage? I think it is. Alright, so the question is, is defrag or genetic, guys? Uh, it seems pretty split, huh? We'll do the defrag. I think the fact that we can do rainbow with the... Uh, do a lot of... What's it called? Do we do buys right now? Is the fight gonna be quick enough? Sure. I could have done zap first. I don't know. So we look. Luck, luckily, we have still have a decent amount of energy. I'm trying to do as much damage as possible because um, I had bias on. So what? I, I'm gonna heal regardless, regardless of pan. I'm gonna have pantograph healing, so I don't care about this. And that's how you get infinite block, by the way. Wait, isn't this infinite block against the heart? Can he, does he punish that? Can the heart punish this? If I get calipers right now, we have a broken thing. I don't know if the heart punishes this. Because his... I'm just doing it for the fuck of it, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess calipers would be super huge.
a motion chip. Max HP. So we, we actually lifted to full. We're super swole on top of that, right? So we lost our full energy thing. I should probably just like try to play. Dark Horse is a lot of damage right now. Genetic algorithm is insane. I think we have close to lethal right now. If I do rainbow, are, are we like not super close to lethal? I can, I can hold on here, but... Oh, I took damage. Fuck. Easy. Electro first turn is absolutely fantastic. Recursion instead. So we lost our perfect, like our Runic from Decahedron. Uh, I guess we do genetic here. I want to do auto, maybe. I want to do defrag. But damn. I want to get defrag out. Nice. Do we do zap? Nah. I think we just do dual cast now. It's pretty significant. Beautiful. Okay, so for Act 4 Elite... We don't heal, we're not full, full health here. That's a problem, but... Oh. We are full health. Dead Branch is funny, huh? Recursion again? Do we think Recursion is performing well? I think it is, right? Are we happy with recursion or are we are we done? There's 21, 22. Potion? Ah yeah, potion, potion. Power or dexterity? What's better? What's better here? What's better? Power or dexterity? Power is RNG, but dexterity is power for sure. Mm. I don't know about that.
I'm not gonna use the power pot for this fight though. This fight's scary, dude. Genetic algorithm. Oh my god, genetic algorithm, man. Sorry, genetic algorithm is just nutty. Can play our whole hand. I think Rainbow's just better, right? We could do Recursion Cool-Headed. I think Rainbow's just better, though. Recursion Cool-Headed gives us more block. I think we do Power Potion now, though. Creative AI. Creative AI can heal us to full. Creative AI could heal us to full. We already have Pantograph. I think Bias Condition's better now. We got the rainbow, which is very good. Very good. There we go. Let's go. Stay stay healthy. Even though the other guy's 99 block, which is it's nutty. Alright. I can't do anything about the 99 block. But I, I, I want to do electric dynamics, of course. I don't have calipers here. Calipers would have been nuts. So the guy in the back is dead. So Pantograph heals us pretty well. I don't know if it gets us to full. It doesn't get, get, get us to full, no, but close enough. Did I have a power that I didn't play there? Matryoshka, what a slap in the face. Also, Fission Plus is pretty good, because I think Fission Plus would allow us to like get all our powers out, right? I think Fission Plus is pretty good. All right, we're very close to getting... I want to, oh, we can play. Ah, I should have done that first. I'm stupid. We can do. I don't know why I'm doing all that block. It's stupid. All right, so we need to get all our powers out. This guy's going to attack for like 60 something right now. Oh, 30? Okay. That's kind of problematic. The burns suck. And I'm frail. Ay, yeah, yeah. The beginning of this fight is rough. So, bias is too. Bias? It's way too early, but the deck is operating kind of quickly though. We can hollow leap or hollow hollow leap. It's way too early. Play slowly. Uh, we're taking damage here, so we're not going to get the run to do Dekahedron. The frill sucks. We've got to get through this, this debuff phase, right? The burn and the debuff phase. This is the hardest part, I would say. Because then he does like a 60 after. Or, or sometimes he does 60 here, or like 50 something here. Unless they changed it. Um, We can hollow the leap. Or hollow, hollow leap. Or hollow, hollow, hollow leap. It's probably the best play. Hollow, hollow, hollow leap. It's probably the best play. I'm rapping right now. Hollow, hollow, hollow leap. <laughs> it's not even that good of a play, actually. 
In fact, hologram is only one block. That's just the frail. So that's why dexterity pot could have been useful, right? That helps me get auto shield, right? Although we have genetic algorithm. I want to get the electrodynamics out of the way. I suppose we I suppose we play genetic here. So that's what I'm saying. The, the turn where he gives you frail, vulnerable, all that stuff, he puts he does a, a multi-deck and then a 56 hit. And now we're no longer frail and vulnerable and life gets e easier. So I kinda wanna do fission now just to kind of get all my powers out of the way. I want to block first and then fission. I'm trying not to take damage, but... Maybe taking damage is okay for the emotion ship. That's 46. So we can bias now, but... So bias now and let the dark scale. At, at most, the dark is only doing 200. So that's not even that great. At most, it's doing 200, but the bias also gives me focus for frost. No, he can only lose 200 HP a turn. It's no longer 100 per attack. It won't last much longer. Is, is Zap worth it? I mean, that's, that damage is probably significant, right? You think all this damage is significant? So, do we have the hologram? Okay, if we had the hologram loop, that would be amazing, but we don't. We do have stack. So we have like... Stack, hologram, stack, hologram, stack. And that's a lot of block. So we'll, we'll, we played that. But before I do that, I could do recursion first. But recursion makes me take damage, so we do... Stack... Recursion... Hologram... Stack. We could do rainbow, just get it out of the way, right? You can no longer take damage this turn, but that's fine. Leap, hologram, stack. But that counts for his turn. Okay, that's interesting. It counts for his turn. Okay. So Rainbow does some decent damage. Rip and Tear does decent damage. Uh, what if I go for double frost here? All right, so he's getting close to dying, but I'm getting close to dying. I need stack yet again. I don't have card draw. I guess I can bring back... Ah, fuck. I think I should have kept the fatty dark orb, but it only does 200 max damage. So I guess there's a world... Wait, I guess there's a world in which 200 max damage is actually insignificant because... 200 max damage means... Let's say I do 200 right now, right? And then I block a little bit. He will... In order for him to kill himself... He would need to do 38, so 38 divided by 3, he would have to hit me 12 times, sorry, like 
13 times out of 15 times to kill himself. Which means I have to survive 6 times 13. So this is why we need something like weaken. The weaken is super important. I'm trying to see what we could do here though. I guess we really need stack here. Or another genetic. We can save another genetic here. Damn. Not having weaken sucks. I wonder if I can manage the Dark Orbs to try to do 200 a turn. And then by this turn, hopefully what I can do is like... So maybe if I manage the orbs differently, I could make it so that this turn is 200, bam, and he's dead. Or at least 200 and some change, and he kills himself with the bronze skills. Maybe I gotta manage the orbs a little bit better. I was so focused on blocking, though. Because not only do I have to manage the damage, but I also have to not die. Yeah, so I would, I would need, um... That I need to take 13 hits for the thorns to kill him, right? So, but if, with that in mind, what I could do is try to do more damage so that I don't need to take 13 hits to kill him. Maybe I only need to take like five hits to kill him with thorns, right? Because the thorns acts on his turn. I can't survive this turn though. Let me see. So, this is. Let me see. I would need to get lucky. I need to draw into stack. But stack is not even that significant right now because. That's, that's 90 damage. That's why weakening is so important, right? If I played Bice the first time around, I would have won this turn instead of dying. You think if I played Bice, I would have won around at this point? You think we should try Bice early and think I can win at this point? And then try to go for like 200 blocks of damage each turn? So that on this turn, I... I guess Bice could be interesting. I think bias would have been too slow. Too early, I think. Let me see. First of all, let's just take a look at what we can do here. I need to draw into... Kuhet is a little expensive, but I guess that's the only play. That's the most card draw we can do. The problem with Kuhet is it takes all my energy. So that right, that right there is just pretty bad. I have to block for 90. I don't have any weaken in my deck. I know. I have everything but the weaken, right? This was a very cool deck. I'm not disappointed in this deck at all. This deck was very cool. I guess... <clears throat> I'm trying to think of how I can play it differently. Um, yeah. Hologram's too expensive. Cool, it could give us something. Like hologram... Like stack. Oh man, this is rough. So even this card draw, but that's only one card. That's two... two Energy for one card draw, whereas at least Hologram is... Well, Quartus is so expensive. I guess I could do dual cast on the Frost Orb. That, that, there's a possibility there. Yeah. Exactly. So with this deck, I think I gotta hit the damage cap as much as possible. I uh, I'll science. So look, I didn't beat the run. I didn't beat the run. We didn't do it. We tried doing no science. We got this far. I'm gonna science to see if it's possible. I think it's a very cool deck. It might be possible. It may not be possible. We'll give it. We'll give it one more. One more try. I, I always forget about that. It's okay, though. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're science just to see if we can do it. So, it was this turn we said that bias cognition probably was okay. Should we try it with bias cognition this early? Motion ship wouldn't save me. Motion ship wouldn't save me. If 
It only triggers once no matter what. Emotion chip is, is worded weirdly, but it, it only triggers once. I'm trying to go for 200 damage a turn. That's decent damage. Like, that's not... He's... I've done 200 damage in two turns. So... I think it's the dark out there, but I got my powers out. So here we have stack. So like stack hologram. We can hologram defend or recursion. So maybe recursion because we're trying to go for damage, right? We came to the conclusion we're trying to do as much damage as possible. But maybe darkness is better for that purpose. So we take a lot of damage, but we didn't even do that much damage. We can hologram stack. No, we can't. Hmm. So we could rainbow now and do a lot of damage. But I don't know. We're not defending as much. We're not defending as much. That's a problem. We did a 6 times 15, yeah. The problem is last time we we did things differently with bias cognition, so we got a different draw cycle. We got stack, hologram stack as a way to defense. Here we didn't get it this time because we used bias early. So things are a little bit different, but I could do the full damage here. I just think me taking all this damage to the face is not good. Maybe not doesn't win exactly, so all arms is too expensive. Well, I could try to save up two big double procs in the dark orb. I, I guess you're right about that. Like I could try to do Well now we I don't know if we survive this. He's doing 60 damage, right? I don't even survive this. We can we can not use fission. Yeah, we need to survive 60. I I maybe bias was early was too much, I think. Uh anyways, we lost, right? I guess we just give up on the run. It's all good. It, it was a really nice run. It was really interesting. I didn't I didn't get to do it. You don't see why Fission was good the turn I played it? I played Fission that turn because I wanted to um, get Defrag and Loop out. We can do one more science. <laughs> it's the last science here. The last science, though. Last science. I don't think there's anything we could do differently. But maybe there is, but... Um, yeah, I played that Fission there for the Defrag and Loop. Yeah, we'll do another run. Uh, we're going to just let this one slide, but... Let's see if it has any life in it. Yeah, I did buy this turn. I did buy this turn. Maybe I could do bias instead of not, not do fission. No, the runs take so long that I, I didn't win against the heart. No, the runs take too long.
I wonder if I can save genetic. There's no way, right? There's no way we can save genetic. Maybe I wonder if double genetic was better. So I did fish in this jump because I I wanted to get my defrag and loop out, but I guess I can use defrag and loop. On a turn to get cost reduction of something and we also get We have fission. Did we try to save the big fatty orbs? I think we gotta do fission, right? So this is 24 damage, that's 17 damage. We got infinite block. Wait, I just fucked up. I'm so stupid. How did I fuck that up? What is wrong with me? Oh my god. I actually misclicked. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Please give me stack. I actually just misclicked. Holy shit. I would... Okay, how much luck did I... Did I would, would I have saved here? I would have saved 26 life. Ah... Uh... Okay, if we die by 26 life, not even, sorry, 28 life. If we die by 28 life, if we die by 28 life, then we know I'm a monkey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, can I get a double fatty coming up? No, 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 wait, 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 Can I get... Dark Orb next turn to kill? Is there a way that I could... With dual cast, right? I can't do rainbow now. I can't do rainbow now. I gotta keep that fatty. So the way you do it is bias cognition and prioritize doing at least 200 damage a turn. And don't waste fission. So that was two, two sciences, three sciences? Damn. So I guess that goes to show that the deck was awesome. But I didn't play it properly. I'm just not, I, I have to get good. But that was a great deck. A little bit of science at the end, unfortunately. Very interesting deck. Very interesting deck. Look at that error. Beautiful. Sorry that I science, guys. I think maybe I should have played that a little bit better, but we did it. All right. I didn't even use abuse the infinite hollow. I had an infinite a hollow. Yeah. Now what has it been done? The spire sleeps. And so shall I. Now, this is another really long run. Defects tend to have hour long runs.